This is the advanced way of creating 3D objects in After Effects. I am going to demonstrate how to create this box shape of 400 by 1080 by 800 pixels. This is going to be quick, so do not skip any part of this video. First step is to create the sides. The sides will be the six faces of this box. New composition. Composition name to be front and back. Width to be 1080 and height 800 pixels. I will leave duration to be 20 seconds. New solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter. I will make this one light gray. The solid takes the size of the composition. Name of the solid to be front and back. On effects and presets, search for fill effect and apply on the solid. Change the fill color to any color you want. It's time to add texts. You can be creative at this stage and add any text you want. I am going to speed up this process. Duplicate this front and back solid layer, rename it to, edges, and bring it to the top. On its fill effect, make color to be black. When edges layer is selected, double-click on this rectangle tool to add a mask to it. Expand mask properties, set mask expansion to negative 4. Check inverted, and set mask feather to 10 pixels. Add linear wipe effect to edges layer. Set transition completion to be 50%, wipe angle to 180 degrees and feather to 500. Reduce opacity of fill to 40%. Duplicate this edges layer. On its linear wipe, adjust the wipe angle to 0 degrees, then change fill color to white. Set opacity of fill effect to 60%. In case if you are wondering, these edges layers add definition to the faces. This face will turn from looking flat like this to something more defined like this. The same thing shall be done to all the other faces. When all faces are put together in 3D space, they will form a box that depicts smooth rounded edges. This is how it looks without adding the definition of the edges. And this is how it looks when edge definition is on. Looks cool, doesn't it? New composition. Width to be 400 and height 800 pixels. Composition name to be right and left. Create a new solid, and name it right and left. Go to effects and presets. Search for fill, then add to it. Change fill color to dark gray. Go to front and back composition, select a few texts. Go to edit, then copy. Go back to right and left composition, then paste. Here I am making one text layer a child of the dominant one, so that they move together when I scale, rotate and change position. Duplicate right and left solid layer, bring it up and rename it to, Edges. Change fill color of edges to black. When edges layer is selected, double click on this rectangle tool to add a mask to it. Expand mask properties, set mask expansion to negative 4. Check inverted, and set mask feather to 10 pixels. Add linear wipe effect to edges layer. Set transition completion to be 50%, and feather to 500. Set wipe angle to 180 degrees. Reduce opacity of fill to 40%. Duplicate this edges layer, then change fill color to white. On linear wipe set wipe angle to 0. New composition. Width to be 1080 and height 400 pixels. Composition name to be top. Create a new solid, and name it to top and bottom. Go to effects and presets, search for fill then add to it. Change fill color to dark gray. Go to right and left composition, select the texts. Go to edit, then copy. Go back to top composition, then paste. This composition will be on the top face of the box, I assume it is exposed to more light. Therefore, it should appear lighter. Duplicate this top and bottom solid layer and change its fill color to a lighter gray. Duplicate top and bottom solid layer once more, then rename it to edges. Change fill color to white. When edges layer is selected, double click on this rectangle tool to add a mask to it, and check inverted. Set mask expansion to be negative 4, and mask feather 10 pixels. Change fill opacity to 40%. 
Go to Project Panel, Duplicate Top Composition. Rename it to Bottom. This composition will be the bottom face of the box, it does not receive more light. It should appear darker than the rest. Delete the top and bottom solid layer that was lighter, on edges layer, set its fill color to be black. On Project Panel select these compositions and put them in a folder, and call it, Sides. New Composition. Composition name to be, Main Box 3D. Width and height to be 1080 by 1080 pixels. Bring in all the sides from the project panel. They should appear in this order for easier workflow. Make the layers 3D. A box usually has 6 sides, but as you can see here, there are only 4. Rename right and left layer to, right. Duplicate and rename it to left. Rename front and back layer to, front. Duplicate and rename it to back. Select view layout to be two views horizontal. Set this left view to be top, and this right one to be front. Select top and bottom, press, R, for rotation. Set the X orientation of top to be 270 degrees, and that of bottom to be 90 degrees. Select top and bottom once more, press, P, for position. Set Y position of top to be 140 and for bottom, set it to be 940. Select right and left. Press R for rotation. Set the Y orientation of right to be 270 degrees and that of left to be 90 degrees. Press P for position. Set X position of right to be 1080 and for left, set it to be 0. Select front and back. Press R for rotation. Set the Y orientation of back to be 180 degrees. Select front and back once more, press P for position. Set Z position of front to be negative 200, and for back, set it to be 200. Select view layout to be, one view. New composition. Name to be, 3D scene main. Width to be 1920 and height 1080 pixels. Bring in main box 3D, from the project panel. Make this comp layer 3D, then click here to make this layer to continue having its depth. Add in a camera, and choose the preset you want. Set the 3D view to Camera 1. Create a null object and rename it to Camera Control. Make Camera Control a 3D layer, then make Camera 1 a child to it. You can adjust these rotation angles to get a cool look. You can do more adjustments on the camera. Turn off depth of field for now. Zoom value can be adjusted as well. New solid, name of the solid to be BG for background. Add gradient ramp effect to BG, and adjust the start and end color. It's time to create a shadow. New solid, set width to 1080 and height to 400 pixels. Solid name to be, shadow. Add fill effect to shadow and set the color to black. Also, add Gaussian blur to shadow. Set blurriness to 200. Make shadow a 3D layer and bring it below main box 3D. Select view layout to be two views horizontal. Set this left view to be front, and this right one to be camera 1. Select shadow, rotate it 90 degrees on x-axis. Use this left area to adjust its location along its local z-axis. You can zoom in and use the up and down arrow keys to adjust further. Set the blending mode of shadow to multiply. You can add more depth to this scene by creating a grid. New composition. Name of the composition to be grid. Width to be 1920 and height 1080 pixels. On project panel, expand solids. Choose this BG solid because it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Bring BG into grid composition. On effects and presets, search for grid and apply it on BG layer. Change size from to be width slider. Adjust width to be 200. Duplicate BG and on its grid effect, set width to be 20 and border value to be 1. Go to 3D scene main composition and bring in grid, below shadow. Make grid a 3D layer and press, R, for rotation. Set X rotation to be 90 degrees. Select view layout to be two views horizontal, and adjust the location of grid to be at the foot of main box 3D. Press S for scale and set the scale value of grid to be 200. It's time to add a reflection effect in the scene. 
Duplicate this main box 3D layer. Rename this one to main box 3D reflection. Press S for scale. Disable constrain proportions. Set scale on Y to be negative 100. Select main box 3D reflection, then change view layout to be two views horizontal, and adjust the location this way. On effects and presets, search for linear wipe and apply it on main box 3D reflection. Adjust transition completion, and set wipe angle to be 0 degrees. Add Gaussian blur effect to main box 3D reflection, then adjust blurriness to be 5. The final step is to add some depth of field. Go to camera options, turn on depth of field, and increase the aperture value. It's time to adjust the focus distance. Select view layout to be two views horizontal. Set this left view to be top, and this right one to be camera one. Now you can adjust the focus distance. For cinematic scene animations, you can simply set keyframes on rotation and position of camera control. Keyframes can also be set on zoom value of camera 1. 